I am here with Evelyn Beans, F1B Petite Double Doodles. And this is their uh, fifth week puppy video. This is a small litter of just three, just three little red babies. Um, I have one little girl, light pink collar, and then there's two boys, a bigger and little. So when I say bigger, not, not like huge, but just the, the bigger of the two. We've got green collar boy who's running away. And then here's our yellow collar boy. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Yes. Tiny little baby. See, I'm a little baby. I'm a little guy. Yeah. So um, this litter is already reserved. These puppies already have owners. But we just are doing our weekly videos so that they can see them grow up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start here with yellow collar boy. Um, both boys have a soft cotton wavy coat. So they have the exact same coat, exact same color. One's just a little bigger than the other. Little black nose. Hi. See, I'm just a bear. I'm just a little bear. Yes, you are. Ever so tiny smidgen. Oh, actually it's getting, it's getting a, a lighter, tiny smidgen of white on the chest, but it's getting lighter and lighter. Hi. Yes. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. All right. Well, let's move you over. And here is our green collar boy. Again, same dark red. And our double doodles have, their red is, um, their dark red is an actual red. It stays that way. Now, um, green collar boy is the bigger of the two boys. Look at his nose. His nose, although it appears black, it almost appears that it's starting to chocolate. And that can happen. So he could end up with a chocolate nose and not... Um, not that black nose that we're used to. Yeah. All right, let's go to the little girl. Light pink color girl. Uh, move my hands over here. We gotta switch hands. All right, she is actually a curly coat and she has a chocolate nose. Um, the curly coats in the double doodles is not like our golden doodle fleece coats. There is no fleece in it. It just happens to be curly. It is still the thinner texture. It is still the cotton texture. So it is a soft cotton curly instead of the soft cotton wavy. Um, what does that mean? Well, it, I mean, it's still non-shedding. These are F1Bs. They're still non-shedding no matter what you get. But what it means is um, it's not going to be that super thick fleece which is really difficult for groomers. Um, and I'm gonna do a video on groomers one day. I'm trying to find a, uh, if I can get a couple of groomers on to have a chat with me. Um, I know that the biggest problem that I have seen in the golden doodle industry are groomers that poodle the doodle. And they like this look. I see before and afters and I'm like, oh my gosh, the after is, yes, the coat is clean and cut and they look like a poodle and everybody's proud of it, but that's not actually the doodle look. Uh, now, if that's what you want, that's great. That's a poodle cut. But um, what we like is to keep the hair looking shaggy. That's what it's bred for. It's bred for the shaggy, I forgot to brush my hair look but it does need to be brushed. And we're gonna go over brushing uh, in the next few weeks where you need the proper brush or comb, not a slicker brush. Stay away from slicker brushes. They don't work on a doodle. You start with a pin brush to get them used to it without them being scared or feeling discomfort. But then we're gonna move on to, I like the wide tooth combs. Um, I like the rakes, but I use a horse brush and a horse comb for our doodles. And you gotta get all the way down to their skin when you're brushing. If you don't, the tips will be nice and brushed, but then there's matting down at the skin. And that does require a shave down. Now, 
it's going to happen in your doodle's life where you're going to have to have a shave down and that's okay the coat does grow back it grows back you'll be just fine um oh get the ball get the ball yeah want the ball want to get the ball he's like listen i i, I don't care lady i don't care um you want the ball yeah yeah so anyway um what i like are doodle groomers that understand that this hair needs to grow out a bit here on the face you do not need to shave the snout you do not need to round the cut here bangs are fine and then trim but you don't need to shave and round off the top um and and you can leave the coat at a good three inches that's a good cut. So finding a good doodle groomer is difficult. And I recommend instead of going to the groomer and saying, have you done doodles? I recommend going to a dog park or looking around on Instagram for dogs that you admire their look that are in your area and find out who their groomer is and ask the owner, are you happy with that um, groomer? I have been using the same groomer a small town groomer since we moved here 23 years ago. Um, we did not always see eye to eye on grooming and she's gonna laugh if she, if she listens to this. And sometimes we still don't, but I understand her objective and she understands mine. Um, because I'm not keeping up with all the brushing like I should all the time on my adults. And because they go outside and they run around and they get dirty and disgusting, um, we do a shave down at least once a year. And that's just how it has to be. I have accepted that in the early days. I used to cry about that. Um, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. But also she understands the doodle look and she understands how we like the faces. And she does that phenomenally. She is excellent and she has put up with us for 23 years. So we are thankful to Jan and to Sheila. For that they do an excellent job um so that's that's my bit on grooming all that to say that this is not a fleece thick coat it is going to be a softer curly coat but it is going to be a curly coat so what are we doing here in week five well temperament testing yay yes yes it is yes so we're going to have your temperament testing results out to you the Wednesday before picking. Um, the second pick of the litter is choosing the girl. Um, so right now it's just which boys will be taken, the first pick or the last pick. Both want boys and we'll see which picks they choose. Yes. Yes. <gasps> it rang a bell. It rang a bell. Yes, it certainly did. Yes. Um, so right now they're uh, eating not only gruel, but they're eating some hard kibble. And we're talking, we're having talks about weaning and getting them away from mama. There's only three, so they're very close to mama, but we also need to consider when they're going home. So we will be getting them used to, to being away from mama by having more and more playtime away from mama and with us. And, um, and then we'll have our puppy picking on the 24th, is it? I think it's the 24th. I don't have my calendar in front of me, sorry, guys. But um, so we will have all of your temperament testing results out to you. Um, it'll actually be week six that you get them, but it'll be the Wednesday before you pick. That'll give you a few days to review them. Um, we will have one more video, uh, maybe. I will try to have one more video for you before picking so that you can get a good look and make sure that you're sure because not everyone in this litter is coming for picking. So we just want to make sure. Yes, yes. Um, we're doing their picking the same day as Diana's. So I may see if, if, if these owners want to come on Friday before. Um, that might help out our, our Diana schedule a little bit. I'm not sure. We'll just see. Look at you. Say, I'm just kind of observing. I'm just kind of chilling here and Green is, is investigating. Yes, yes. Um, next week is another uh, pre preventative deworming and their shots. I wait until after picking for shots because I don't want people coming 
uh, after shots, puppies are gonna be a little, not lethargic, but they're gonna be tired. They're gonna sleep. They're, um, we do the shots right right here uh, in, in the scruff area between the shoulder blades. And, um, you know, people are gonna wanna pet them and touch them. And that's a little tender. And um, after shots, puppies tend to have soft stools or even loose stools for a few days. And it's just not a good time to have picking right at the, the same time we're doing shots. So we wait until after picking um, because shots usually are six weeks and your picking day usually falls right around that. So, yes, yeah, see, I got my teethies. I got my teethies. Shall we check your teethies? Nope, no teethies here. That's probably why we're delaying our, our weaning process a little bit because we all have to have teethies in order for that to happen. Yeah, yeah. And green is down. Green is down for the count. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. All right, guys. I'm going to let you watch them for a minute. Uh, see if I can't get them to do some playing for you. And we will see you next week for our puppy picking video. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye, sweet teddy bear? We'll see you guys next week.